hard work. The best of the best have got the problem. What's your goal for the next six months? Hi everyone, Tom Panos here with Charles Tuma, one of the owners of Bell Surrey Hills. He's also a real estate gym member and one of my coaching clients. And he has just told me, it's a Friday, and he's just told me, Monday, 115 calls. Tuesday, 115 calls. Wednesday, 115 calls. Thursday, 115 calls. Today, how many calls did you do 15. today? 15 today, because yeah. well, your day off, Friday. Day off, day off. Got to spend okay. it with the family. Okay. So, you know, when you made those calls, Charles, how many did you actually speak to? Uh, about 40% connection, so about 50, 50 connects a day, on average. Charles, there's a lot of calls going on there, mate. This is, this is, this is massive amounts of calls. We're going to talk about this uh, because you said to me, Tom, the first five years you worked your butt off, yeah. high number of calls you said the next five years your calls dropped off and you were living off the work that you did in your first five years yeah i got complacent and i think i relied on the work i did in the first five but you strictly believe charles you strictly believe that there is a correlation between the amount of calls you make and how successful you'll be absolutely absolutely yeah, yeah, okay, so, so Charles, let's talk about it because agents watching this video right now are saying, you know what, some people have been totally freaked out, just us starting this session saying, do you know that there are people, there are people that will go six weeks and not make the amount of calls that you did on Monday, mm. right? That is a fact of life in real estate, yeah. right? So I want to talk about it. When do you make your calls? Uh, my call sessions between 8.30 and 12 and then I'll do another two hour session probably between three and four. Well, between three and five. Okay, so let's just talk about those calls. We're gonna talk, who do you call? Let's start out when I first started. Yeah, let's right? do that. Because most of the viewers here, I believe, are probably gonna be people just starting their career. And Absolutely, the question first two I, years. The, the question I get is, well, who do I call? I haven't got a database, how do I start with a database? The first thing I believe is you need three, uh, three major elements uh, to, to building a database. It starts with buyer work, product knowledge, and customer service. You can't do good buy work without having product knowledge, and you can't do good buy work without giving good customer service, okay? And you can't give good customer service without having good product knowledge. They're all related. So let's talk about that. Buyer work, customer, customer service, product, product knowledge. knowledge. So I started out, uh, no database, what did I do? Looked at every property on the market. 90% of every property in my two core suburbs I looked at. I had a spreadsheet with all the information of not only my listings, but every listing in our market, okay? So my knowledge was first class, okay? Hang on a second. You're telling me that I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna be um, looking at other agents' properties, um, calling buyers and yeah. telling them about other agents' listings, yeah. which I'm not gonna get a conjunction on. No, not at all. Okay. But what you can do is put $15,000 in your bank in six years' time. Gold. That's what you can do. By yeah. the way, everyone, you're watching this video here. This guy here, I'm letting you know, he is a million dollar writer. He's a million dollar writer. I mean, um, you've written a million dollars a few times in your, in yeah. your career. How many times do you reckon you've done it? Oh, uh, over a handful. Right, okay. Um, I wanna ask you, you talked about product knowledge. You nailed that, you've explained that. Yeah. You basically have done a PhD on everything in the market and you know it inside out so you know your stock excel yeah. sheet you've inspected properties i mean i do auctions and i see you rocking up at auctions other agents other auctions. agents and you've said to me tom i go to auctions and i find that i can see what's happening and that gives me a position of strength when i go to a listing presentation because i can actually see mm. see who's who's a buyer in the market yeah, although the underbidder could come through one of your opens next week and say make you an offer of 1.35 and tell then they will tell you that's all they've got and i'll say with all due respect, I saw you bid one four last week, another agent's open. So power is knowledge. Knowledge is, is power. power. So the, the bottom line, so the bottom line, that's product knowledge too, because you've got product knowledge of the buyer. You've got product knowledge of everything in the marketplace. Mate, can I ask you any tips on having the energy and discipline to make those calls? That concludes the free version of the video. To get the full interview, plus all the tools and templates, join Real Estate Gym.